So, how do you repair weapons in the Anomaly mod? Well, it's actually very simple once you understand it, but getting to that point can be slightly confusing. So, let's begin. In this example, I'm going to use this AKS, AKS 47 UN, because it's a pretty common, it's a pretty common drop, and it's pretty desirable in the early game, in my opinion. So you'll probably obtain it quickly, so you'll probably get used to it. Let me handle these dogs. Okay, so you've got your weapon, and it's in need of repairs. The first thing you do is look at the current durability of the weapon. All right. So you can check this by heading into your PDA, pulling up the guide tab. And they're heading to notes and then equipment state. And there it is, 26%, AK47 UN, worn 26. Alright. So why is it important that you know your gun's current durability? Well, because the current durability dictates how we're gonna repair your weapon and with what tools. So with this gun, because it's on the low end, uh, we need to do a full repair. It's pretty low, right? Um, just so you know, all guns, except handguns, are composed of five parts. For rifles, like this AK, uh, the five parts you're going to need is going to be the barrel, the trigger, the lockhead, the gas tube, and the bolt lock. Alright, just know that you need five in total if you intend to do a full repair on a weapon. Okay, five, just keep that in mind. The first part you need to start with is the barrel. Okay, you're gonna want a clean uh, weapon part, a clean weapon barrel here, as opposed to a worn barrel. You can see the difference. Um, you're gonna want the clean one because it's gonna give the most repair possible. You can use a worn rusty part if you'd like, and I'll discuss repairing worn parts so that they can turn into clean parts. Uh, later on, but rusty parts will give you less repair bonus and worse stats overall. So weapon parts themselves can be obtained by breaking down similar weapons, similar weapon caliber. As you can see, the ammo here is 545. In this example, you can break them down with the item known as the multi tool. As you can see here, the multi tool. I say caliber because it doesn't need to be the exact gun as all rifles for example share all of the same weapon parts except for the barrel so the barrel is caliber specific so breaking down uh, for example the 762 AKM can get me four non-barrel parts that will work for my 545 AK but it'll never give me the correct barrel because the barrel itself is a different caliber. For example, see this barrel is 7.62 that I just broke down, while this barrel is 5.45. Yet all the other parts I just broke down, they're exactly the same. There's no change in difference. Only the barrel's different. You will need to break down a second weapon of similar caliber in order to get the correct barrel. In this example, it's 545. So I could break down this, a second AKS 74UN and it will give me the correct 545 barrel. But I can also, for example, break down an AK 74M, which is not the same exact weapon, but because they're both 545, it'll still drop. A functioning 545 barrel. So how do we install our new barrel? Well you're gonna need what's known as a weapon repair kit and it's meant and the one you need is, is supposed to be meant for your specific weapon. So let's head over to the trader. Traders usually have one of every possible weapon repair kit uh, per caliber and and although you'll see multiple calibers being duplicated, you see uh, 7.62, 7.62, they are not the same. Each trader usually carries just one of each caliber. Even though they look similar, again, they're not the same. So how do you know which is the one you need? Uh, easy. You just hover over your weapon, 
and you see in a trader it gets highlighted the one you need. This is the one I'm going to need right here. This is the weapon repair kit I require. And again, without that specific repair kit, the one intended for your specific weapon, it, you will not be able to replace the barrel without it. So uh, let's actually do it. Let's buy the correct one. Buy it. Great, we have an inventory. Let's head over to our technician. Alright, let's pay 1,000 rubles so we can borrow his vice for 5 minutes. Okay. Okay, make sure of course your weapon, you unloaded the ammo, took off any scopes, silencers. Uh, you'll notice my AK is about now maybe 14%, it was at 25 I had to lower it because it was actually in too good of a state. It needs to be, I believe, below 25 to 20% before you can change the barrel. So, here we are at 50%. Uh, I have the weapon repair kit, you can see it. I'm going to select it. And the next option is, well, the first thing you can repair uh, normally is going to be the barrel. So I'm going to put a functioning barrel, not a worn, because I want the best I can get. So I'm going to put it on. Boom, now we're at 25. All right. Okay, so now that we've installed the barrel and we have an idea of how to install weapon parts in order to repair our weapons, uh, there's still four other parts for non-barrel parts. Now, uh, let's go ahead and install those. So, for the barrel, we needed, remember, we needed to use what was called the weapons repair kit. The weapons repair kit, again, is specifically only for barrel. So every time you want to put in a new barrel, you're going to need a new weapon repair kit. Now, these other four parts, uh, their specific item is called the weapon modification kit you see here, right? And since we're going to install four parts, we're going to need four charges total worth of weapon modification kit. You can see this one here only has three, so I'm going to need to buy this one. And then obtain uh, one more, so I have at least four total so I can complete this uh, repair. So we have what we need. So I have in total six charges, which is two more than I need total, but right, can't go bad with having too many. Anyway, so we're going to head back. We're going to head back to our guy over here, our technician, ask him to borrow his vice, give him 1,000 rubles. All right, head back in and clamp it down again. And the way we do it is the same way we did it before, just, just, you just do it four times. All right. Let's do it. Okay, so we picked the weapon modification kit. It's going to give us uh, the next uh, part I can install, which is going to be the, the trigger mechanism. So I select it and put it in. There you go. Now I'm at 45. Let's do it again. Weapon modification kit. The lock head. Put it in. There it is. Now I'm at 60. Again. Put in the gas tube. Here we go. Weapon modification kit. And functional sliding bolt. I'm at 85. Now notice the barrel starts at the top and it went counterclockwise. You, This is the order that you install things. You cannot install the barrel, then the gas tube. It can only work this way. So if you have these three parts but don't have this and you have the weapon modification kit, it doesn't matter. You need to install this first and take care of it before you can uh, repair the next uh, weapon part. And yeah, so now that we've uh, installed all the weapon parts, all five, uh, it brought us up to 85, right? But it's not 100. We want to make it up to 100. So 85 is the highest you can go using the vise and replacing the parts. Uh, in order to get the last 50%, uh, you need to use cleaning kits. And I'm going to show you how that works and how that looks. Uh, you should know there's about, I believe, six cleaning kits in total. Five, which are universal, as in they can be used for rifles, SMGs, shotgun, they don't care, they're universal. And one, which is specific to that type of, there's a specific one for rifle, specific one for SMG, shotgun, etc., right? Um, and the, these cleaning kits, they start off, uh, they allow you to repair your weapons. Even though we're at 85, some of these cleaning kits start working at, uh, at around 75%. So we're above that right now. And you can see which kits I'm talking about. Alright, you go to your weapon, right click, select details, 
scroll down to the compatible repair kits section here. Okay. Here are all the cleaning kits. Uh, here, here you see the value pro. As you see how it specifically says small bore rifle. This is the specific one I was talking about. This one starts at 75%. Uh, you can see compatibility 545, which this weapon is indeed a 545 weapon. So that's how you know you can use it. Uh, moving on, we have the gun oil. This one starts at 90%. We're at 85, so we wouldn't be able to use this until we reach 90%. Again, we're at 85. We cannot use this one. Uh, small. Another specific uh, one, a repair kit. This one starts at 25, so this is pretty good, but we're not going to bother with this. That's later on. Uh, here we got 87%. Moving on again, 90%. Here's the 65%. And here's the 85%. Again, we're at 85%. So I'm probably going to focus using this Bronox Gun Care Spray Lubricant. So now that we know what we're looking for, we can head over to the trader and obtain this item. Alright, let's get that Brunox, uh cleaning kit. Alright, so now that we know what it looks like, we have an idea what we're looking for, we can just go ahead and hit, uh, head into the trader and let's take a look. Here we go. Uh, Brunox, let's buy one. This one comes with two charges. That's pretty good. 2k, not too bad. Pick it up. Alright. Open our inventory. Uh, right click it. Select use. And here we have our little menu here. You can see our weapon AKS is 86%. If our, let's say our AKS was uh, at 84%, we wouldn't see it here. It would not show up on the list. But because it's above the, the threshold for this kit, which is 85%, obviously we see it. So on the left here, you see supportive material. This is um, basically to get bonus repair uh, percent. You don't need to use it. You can repair as is. But if you see now, if I do repair it, I'll only get 5%. So how do I know what can I use for supportive material, right? Uh, it's the same way we did before. This is pretty useful actually. Right clicking things, heading all the details, and checking this out, you know. Here are the usable materials. You can use, uh, I see a lot of fabric. Uh, you can use cloth mask, a bunch of stuff like that. Porno mags, you know. Why not? Soaked underwear. And as you see, each one has their own, like this one gives 5%. Uh, this one gives, you can see this one gives 10%, etc, etc, right? So let's obtain one of these. Um, Fabrics are probably the easiest. You can get fabrics by getting armor. Any uh, any armor, like cloth armor or headwear, uh, can be dis disassembled the same way you disassembled guns with the multi-tool. Uh, they they drop fabrics, so that's how. What that's one way you can get fabrics. Right. So, like I was saying, so I'm gonna disassemble this this black leather jacket. What do I get? Let's see. Alright, I got, you see, I got some stuff there. I got some steel wool, uh, textile sheets, cloth sheets, pretty good. Alright, so let's go back into our gun care, use, KS, and now you see this, is, this list here is populated with some stuff, cloth, right? Steel wool is pretty good, I see 10%. So now if I use this with the steel wool, uh, you can see the bonus is 10%, plus the base 5% will give me a total of 15%, so... You can do the math here, right? What's gonna happen? Obviously, we're gonna get that nice 15% repair. And it makes sense, right? It's a cleaning kit. You need fabric to wipe it off. So, there you go. You can go ahead and check out PDA. Make sure to click off and click back on so it updates. If you leave it there, it's not gonna update, and you might be confused as to why your gun isn't. Uh, accurate, your this information is accurate. You need to uh, unclick it and then re-click it and then and then click it again so it refreshes. So again, AKS 100%. You did it. And again, if you didn't get as lucky as me, you didn't get that steel uh, wool that gave me the last 15% that I needed. Uh, let's say you're stuck at maybe 96% or something. Okay, so you can go ahead and head back to the trader and buy another clean kit, maybe the one that's 90% that starts off, it'll probably be cheaper because it has such a high requirement. That's the, the pros and cons of the different cleaning kits. 
they may have uh, higher thresholds but it's usually like it'll cost less or whatever the reason and everything we just did was for a rifle right this AKS but you can do the same exact thing same exact steps with uh, shotguns SMGs whatever right the only difference is that the, the names of the parts are gonna be different but you're still gonna have you're still gonna need five parts a barrel and the other parts uh, you're gonna need the weapon kit the weapon modification kit you're gonna need to head to the vice after you max out at 85 percent you're gonna need to get weapon uh, cleaning kits and again same exact thing uh, now the only thing I left out again I didn't say handguns handguns cannot be used on a vice and handguns actually if you disassemble them they only provide three parts uh, I believe it's a trigger a spring and the pistol grip um, handguns are sort of like uh, like clothes once they fall below a certain percent it's it's over the only way to repair it is to go to a technician who can bring anything from zero to a hundred percent of course um, but with handguns what you can do in order to repair them is what you can do is with the handguns is uh there's a, a field kit specifically for handguns and this uh, kit starts off at 25 percent the handgun repair kit this is the only uh, if you want to use if you want to repair your handguns this is the only way to do it with uh, with items otherwise again uh, you're just gonna have to go to technician which is usually expensive but handguns usually aren't even that expensive I think it's like 10k at max just to bring it up to 100% so the other thing I would just want to quickly add is there are I don't think I have it on me there are kits uh, we saw it before you can see it here Sorry, uh, I have to go to your gun, right? <clears throat> so there are kids that you saw before that start at... that are specific to the weapon caliber, and they start at 25%. So if you... if your gun's pretty low, um... The, these repair kits... they're worth mentioning. These 25% specific to the caliber repair kits are worth mentioning because uh, later on, you're gonna find some high-end guns, you know, and they're gonna be rare. You're not gonna be like every guy you kill is gonna drop an AK, and yeah, you're gonna get AK parts constantly. Maybe it's like like a vow. I'm not sure what's a high-end weapon. I can't think of one right now, but you're probably gonna find one, and it's gonna be very hard to find a second one so you can break it down and get its parts. We are almost done. There's still one last thing. If you remember, uh, we were lucky enough to use all new parts to repair our. Uh, weapons or weapon parts that we use in the vice they were all new right but when you take apart weapons you don't it's not guaranteed you can get worn parts as well so let's find out how to fix those worn parts and make them into new parts so the first thing you're gonna need are these three items you're gonna need the multi-tool which you should already have right uh, this piece right here which is known as the ramrod that's what it looks like and then the file, that's also what it looks like. Uh, if you can't tell by looking at it, the file and the ramrod have unlimited use. They have no charges, they never run out, you never lose them. But the multi-tool does, so uh, here's another little little uh, pro tip. If you have, uh, if, if your multi-tool is damaged, you can always use what's known as a sharpening stone set. So you use it, go ahead and click your multi-tool if you want. You can pick some, some kind of supportive, I don't even feel like it, right? Just the base is 21%, that's a big chunk guys, so I don't really need it, I'm, I'm good. Anyway, so like we were saying, so we have the parts we need. So here's all you do, it's really simple. Go to the part that's damaged, you can tell because uh, the clean part or the good part is going to be nice and normal, and the non-good part, the worn, is going to be red, right? Like something's wrong with it. Just go ahead, while you have these parts, go ahead and restore part. This probably won't even show up unless you have these parts, I think, but... Uh, well, we're going to go ahead and click it. And this, this this specific part of barrel uh, requires the ramrod. See, this is the first slot. The first slot is always going to be the tool required. And this changes depending on what the part is. Uh, the, for example, again, the barrel needs a ramrod. Uh, another part, uh, I can't remember off the top of my head, but let's say the the, the gas tube will require um, uh, the multi-tool. Um, another thing could require the file. But it's either one of these three. The first slot is always going to be one of these three. For example, all right, so it's a file. Right. Now the second slot 
is always going to be, uh, well, the second slot's always going to be some kind of, uh, it's either going to be a solvent that you require, or a lubricant. So, this part requires, uh, I believe that's a solvent, right? Right, you head into details for uh, the tool. So, let's pick this again. Let's pick the barrel, actually. The barrel required a ramrod. So, I'm going to go ahead and look at my ramrod. The details, and it tells me right here, cleaning solvents. Uh, these are the other things I could use that are going to be filling the other slots you saw. Cleaning solvents, gasoline, kerosene, or uh, cloth rags. or uh, I, I call this fabrics. It's simpler, right? So, let's head to the barrel, restore it. Um, I'm going to use, is it solvent? This is one of the solvents. These are the these the second slot use the same exact items as the cleaning kits. They are the cleaning kits. So you're gonna use them to repair worn weapon parts and also to take your weapons from 85% to 100. So that's its multiple uses. Now the third part is gonna be like you saw before supplemental materials. Again, uh, like I said, they're fabrics. I told you before you can get your fabrics from disassembling armors. I'm going to ahead and use this textile, and uh, it brought me up to 45%. Um, the max you can bring this up to is 50%. That's right, 50%. So there's a 50% chance at best that this works right. Uh, whether it succeeds or not, whatever is in the second slot and the third slot will be used. Again, whether it succeeds or not. You'll never lose the base weapon part you're trying to fix and you'll never lose the tool, the first slot. You'll never lose these two. But you will lose these two, okay? But let's go ahead and try and see what happens. Okay. Let's give it a quick second, let's see what it says. Oh, I got it, there you go. There you go, so now the barrel's good. All my barrel, yep, good to go, I can use them. Same thing, I mean, I could have store this part, put whatever here, put whatever there, and and you already know the rest. So there you go. Okay, and here's the very last thing I want to share with you guys. So personally, I believe uh, the best way to learn something is to do it yourself. That way you get it in your memory, right? So here's my final little uh, bro tip. Uh, he, if you didn't know, you can run Anomaly in the debug mode, and I'm going to show you how to do that. And what is debug mode? It's basically like God mode. You can just spawn all the AKs you need, all the material. Uh, you can have all the rubles you need. That way you can play with all the things I showed you here. And you can do it for yourself. And that way I, I feel that's just the best way to learn. Um, so let me go ahead and show you. You're going to have to look for your wherever your uh, anomaly is saved. Go ahead and look up for the launcher. You're going to right click it. You're going to go create shortcut. Head over to that shortcut you just created. Right click it head over to properties and then look for the target field here right you can go all the way to the very end of it and add this simple line you can add dash dbg which of course is for debug I'm gonna go ahead and apply okay and you go ahead and run the game you'll see in the bottom left corner it'll let you know you're in debug mode and I would recommend you wait until you're actually in the game not in the main menu but actually into a game into the zone and once you're in the zone Press escape, which of course brings up your uh, the menu, right? After you press escape, press S, and you will see the debug menu. Let me show you how that looks. Debug menu, right? Alright. Uh, thanks for watching. Sorry for the long video. Alright, thank you.